The guarantee once acted upon is not revocable, but Section 130 provides for revocation of continuing guarantee. Section 130 provides that a continuing guarantee may at any time be revoked by the surety as to future transactions by notice to the creditor. This would be better understood from the following illustration, for example, A in consideration of B's discontinuing at A's request bills of exchange for C, guarantees to B for 12 months, the due payment of all such bills to the extent of Rs 5000. B discounts bills for the C to the extent of Rs 2000. Afterwards, the end of three months, A revokes guarantee. This revocation discharges A from all liabilities and B for any subsequent discount. But A is liable to B for Rs 2000 on default of C. Revocation of surety may be for future transactions only. The surety may be liable for the transactions already entered into. The question as regards whether the surety has a right to revoke was settled by the court in Offord v. Davies and Company. In this case, the defendants guaranteed the repayment of bills to be discounted by the plaintiffs for Davies and Company for 12 months not exceeding £600. The defendants revoked the guarantee before any bill was discounted, but the plaintiffs discounted the bills which remain unpaid. The court in this case said, we are of the opinion that they had and consequently they were not liable. In case of simple guarantee for proposed loan, the right of revocation before the proposal has been acted on did not appear to be disputed. In the case of continuing guarantee, every credit given is a separate transaction which makes the surety irrevocably liable, but he may free himself from further liability. In the case of Coles v. Palk, the court has held that a guarantee for payment of rent can be revoked and depends upon the facts of each case and the language employed by parties to express their intention. In case where the surety died, the court in the case of Balfour v. Belfour has held that neither he could have revoked the guarantee during his lifetime nor was his estate released from liability. In this case, Justice Joyce said, the right to determine or withdraw a guarantee by notice forthwith cannot possibly exist the consideration, for it is invisible, so to speak, and moves from person to whom the guarantee is given once for all, as in the case of consideration being the giving or conferring an office or employment upon any person whose integrity is guaranteed.